ruble. Dear Monsieur de Riche. Last judgment. Why do I always get the most terrified incredulity of St. Thomas? Why is Caravaggio representing St. Thomas putting his finger in the wound? Thomas looks on, but doesn't touch. Golden elixir. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Lovely lectures Mortimer is giving to his guests. Very jolly. Saint Jerome and the Angel. There's a circle around the lock here. Must be the trunk Mortimer was talking about. The key should open it. There's a note. Effects of Sœur de Richer to be given to her son, Louis. I should probably take it. young lady we spoke of in the hall. I bumped into her in the small salon before. Well, she is the daughter of my friend, the Vice President, John Adams. But she is supposed to be dead. Yeah, that's bizarre. Fair enough. Good heavens! I was present at her funeral. It is disturbing indeed. Yes. I need to make sure it's her. That's where you come in. I want you to distract Elizabeth while I search her room. And perhaps get my hands on some important information. At least, I hope so. Elizabeth is in the small salon. If you hurry, you can still catch her. I just need ten minutes. But if my vision is true, there are two men nearby discussing very important issues, and one of them looks much like Mortimer. Washington is very kind, but I came to this island for my mother, not for his ghost stories. Sir, I, I don't feel well. I'm going to have to decline. I see. Well, I hope you won't be needing my help one day. I must act swiftly. I'll search my room later. Louis, you're straying from your objective. Godoy. I recognize this part of the corridor. I'm close. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Locked. 
servants change the beds every day, there must be a service key somewhere. Straying from your objective. Duke Manuel Godoy. meeting is underway. My instructions are to let no one pass. Monsieur Napoleon Bonaparte. Monsieur Jacques Perru. Servants put clean laundry here. The service key. I was right. That's not the right way. Jacques Perru. doesn't seem to be the room for my vision. Tending children at the orphanage in Harlem. I find it a little hard to understand this painting choice. King George III in coronation robes. Nice touch for the room of an English duchess. from Lady Hillsborough that she apparently never got to send. Office 101. Buckingham Palace, London? Dear Mr. Walsingham, nothing to worry about. I cannot meet you at the palace as planned, as an important matter has cropped up which requires all my attention. You will guess who I have gone to fetch at dear Mortimer's, and thus you will understand my hurried departure. What on earth is she talking about? I can guarantee you will be back as soon as possible. You will understand that to be able to serve you, I must assemble all my assets. You know I put the interests of the Crown above my own. Tell the Queen I, of course, will assume all of the responsibility and consequences for my absence. Your devoted servant, E.H. Whoa. This looks so it would seem that our dear Emily's in the service of the British Crown. Now, 
I'm not saying she's definitely involved in shady deals, but I'll bet she does do some top secret stuff. Sneaky little minx. Hmm. I wonder who this Walsingham is. Well, at any rate, Emily didn't come here to finish up a deal with anyone. She came here looking for someone just like I did. Dear E, I received your last letter. Unfortunately, the Crown informed the Golden Order that our mission should, under no circumstances, hamper Sir Gregory's plans. Decidedly, they have support from the highest level in Buckingham Palace. So here we both are, hands and feet tied, and little room to maneuver. Keep me abreast of events. The Lady's Waldegrave by Reynolds, painted upon the request of the Waldegrave family in an effort to find them a husband. Displayed like meat, it's disgusting. Grammar of Port Royal. Ah, the artistry of the French language and all its splendor. Whoever masters French commands the world, at least une partie of it. It's Emily's room. She's fast asleep. Hmm, as beautiful by night as she is by day. from William Pitt the Younger, addressed to Emily. He's the present Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Emily has indeed some powerful backers. Madam, thank you for consoling the Queen. The King's situation is worsening, but I wager he'll recover from this present fit. Next time you speak with Her Majesty the Queen, would you please be so kind as to ask her to look into my petition to raise taxes with the King? A ruble. Queen Charlotte. All the royal family of England is there from what I can tell. A letter from William Pitt the Elder addressed to Emily. He was the English Prime Minister. This letter dates from 15 years ago now. Madam, I shall never thank you enough for all your care and attention. I shall be indebted to you. A letter from William Pitt the Elder addressed to Emily. He was the English Prime Minister. This letter dates from 15 years ago now. Madam. Two coils circle the lock. Dear Gregory, thank you for the information. I've managed to find out about the names you gave me. George Washington is a man you can trust. In spite of his obvious talent for politics, he has remained upright and honest. On the other hand, as you may well know, he is already doing business with Lord Mortimer. It will be more difficult to approach him. Napoleon Bonaparte was unknown to me until today. He is a passionate young French soldier for whom Mortimer predicts a promising future. Take heed. He is a man of conviction, which to my mind makes him potentially dangerous. As for Sarah de Richet, what more is there to say? You already know each other. She was apparently invited by Lord Mortimer about an ongoing matter in Paris that concerns a receiver in Stone. Origami. This origami talks about the disappearance of a child.
Only borrowing it, of course. Sir, I understand your eagerness, but the pressure on my family complicates the task. Relax, my friend. Your relatives will soon be huh. safe. So what I saw in my vision really did happen. <sighs> well, I hope I haven't missed anything important. I... thank you so much. Don't mention it. Now that's settled, let us speak about your support. Yes. You mentioned earlier some assistance from the Golden Order? Absolutely. I have concluded an agreement with their leader, Lady Sarah Faustine de Richet. Another case that Mother didn't tell me about. The funds from the Order will finance the building of a foundry in Tuscany. You will soon be able to count on a hundred or more cannons for your future campaigns. I... I was not expecting so much help from you. Uh, when can I meet this uh, de Richet? Well, unfortunately, something has cropped up. De Richet has disappeared. Disappeared? What, here? Yes, but the staff are redoubling efforts to find her, I assure you. So the agreement, is it on or off? It is on. Her right-hand man has just arrived here to help us find her. And it is none other than her son, Louis Maurras de Richet. I wager he will ensure his mother's commitments are met. Louis, not an easy name to live with in these times. Uh, of course, but from now on you will deal with him. This man, it can only be Mortimer. Very well, I will seek him out. Ah! Ma'am. a close call. When you see Louis, speak to him about the amount of our agreement. And um, how much exactly are we talking about? 20,000 Louis d'or. A sum that will enable you to easily win your next conquests. My friend, an unparalleled destiny awaits you in France. That is very flattering. However, is 20,000 Louis d'or Enough to purchase so many cannons. In this case, yes. Madame de Richet and I have negotiated a very good price. Very well. You can count on me to talk with her son. Perfect. Remember that great things can be achieved with him on your side. Of course. Anything else? Not for now. Try to get some rest. The next few days are likely to be tiring. Then, sir, I bid you a good evening. Good evening, my friend. It's time to leave. I can explain. Perhaps, but remain still. Bill. But, but first, you could perhaps remove the blade from my throat? You have ten seconds to explain your presence here. Appearances can be misleading. I'm, I'm only passing through. 
And the origami bird. I suppose it simply flew into your pocket. Actually, I was just putting it back. Oh, don't push your luck. What are you doing in my room? I, I was only passing through. I, I swear it to you. I was in a hurry. I, I didn't know whose room I was entering. Look. For someone in a hurry, you still found time to ogle me naked on my bed. Oh, yes. The first time you came through, I was awake. It was dark, and I, I didn't realize it was you. I, I had to look closer. Shut your mouth, sir. You are only making it worse for yourself. You have been a great disappointment to me. Please leave now. Napoleon Bonaparte. Your turn? The servants are not very efficient. Durache can't be far away. They'll find her soon. Their search time is restricted given that they must keep an eye on Adams. I can take care of her, you know. Yes. Well, in any case, I do thank you for bringing her to the island. From what I've understood, the search of Durache's room hasn't turned up any results. Not yet, no. But we've put her son in there. Perhaps he'll find something. Hmm. That might come in handy. Louis grows impatient at not yet having met the famous Lord Mortimer. He will meet him tomorrow. Oh, what a pity to lose a knight at the start of the game. Are you waiting for someone? A young French soldier. During our game of chess? Don't worry, Gregory. The game won't disappear. I'll have one of my men escort you back. Don't trouble yourself. I know my way out. Ah, good evening, gentlemen. Please forgive me for this late hour. It is never too late. And we have much to discuss. One last move? Don't worry. Our games always seem to end like this. Or always start like this. Come, come. Take a seat, my friend. Nighttime stroll, Mr. President? There's nothing like it for a good night's sleep. Do not hesitate to ask a servant to show you back. The corridors seem quite safe. Peppermint, lime flower, and valerian. My miracle remedy when one can't get to sleep. A very good night to you, Mr. President. Thank you. And to you too, sir.
I'm coming. Dear Monsieur. The torture of Ixion, condemned by the gods to lose his mind because of his arrogance. An inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Golden elixir. Jerome and the Angel. There's a circle around the lock here. Must be the trunk Mortimer was talking about. The key should open it. There's a note. Effects of Sœur de Richer to be given to her son, Louis. I should probably take it. Excuse me, am I bothering you? I was sleeping. I need your help. What's going on? Do you remember the young lady we spoke of in the hall? No. What's her name again? Elizabeth Adams. Well, she is the daughter of my friend, the Vice President, John Adams. But she is supposed to be dead. Yeah, that's bizarre. Fair enough. Good heavens! I was present at her funeral. It is disturbing indeed. Yes. I need to make sure it's her. That's where you come in. I want you to distract Elizabeth while I search her room, and perhaps get my hands on some important information. At least, I hope so. Elizabeth is in the small salon. If you hurry, you can still catch her. I just need ten minutes. But if my vision is true, there are two men nearby discussing very important issues, and one of them looks much like Mortimer. Washington is very kind, but I came to this island for my mother, not for his ghost stories. Sir, I, I don't feel well. I'm going to have to decline. I see. Well, I hope you won't be needing my help one day. I must act swiftly. I'll search my room later. I recognize this part of the core dimension. I'm quoting the Bible and in the Quran. <laughs> servants change the beds every day. There must be a service key somewhere. Straying from your objective. Monseigneur, His Eminence Cardinal Piaggi. Good evening, sir. I'm sorry, but an important meeting is underway. My instructions are to let no one... Sir Jacques Perru. Servants put clean laundry here. The service key. I was right.
That's not the right way. So Jacques Peru. I don't recognize anything in here. This must not be the room for my vision. Pattern with four circles. Another painting on the Massacre of the Innocents? Great, honey. A letter. Addressed to the French Revolutionary Court. He wants to show them his loyalty, and for that, he includes a list of guillotinable people. Women, children, precautionary beheadings? This man would kill them all. This man's ruthless. Nice decor for a revolutionary tribunal judge's room. Fine quality boots. Given the size of them, the man they belong to must be pretty big. Dear friend. Records of the police, notes intended for the police lieutenant of Paris. It's a list of people under surveillance in Paris, and there's some well-known names on it. This is valuable information. This shouldn't be lying around. circles. Dear Monsieur Peru, I'm writing to thank you for the funds you sent. These funds will be crucial for the renovation of the West. Tell me, my good man. Sir? I have an urgent letter to send. My instructions are clear, sir. No one is to enter. Does the word urgent mean nothing to you? Yes, but the word liar also means something. That won't work, Lewis. Listen, I'm an insomniac, and Sir Holm told me that you could go to the kitchen and make me a cup of herbal tea. And what is in this herbal tea, sir? Holm gave Washington a recipe for a sleeping drought. What was it again? Peppermint, lime flower, and valerian. I... 
Yes, it's herbal tea. I... I'll go and make it for you at once, sir. I'll wait for you in my room. Hmm. I need to find a place to watch undisturbed. Cannibal crossing the Alps. Another military success. Why do I get nothing but visions of horror in my room? And he gets victory after victory? The Prince by Machiavelli. A perfect read for anyone with a surfeit of ambition. Hmm. That might come in handy. Carmelite water. They say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. My dearest son. My dearest son. It's a beautiful weapon. A Levy Damask Blade. It's marked with the initials of the manufacturer. The Battle of Alexander at Isus, or how Alexander the Great triumphed over King Darius. Yet another one with delusions of grand honey. I couldn't have hoped for better. Hannibal crossing the Alps. Another military success. Why do I get nothing but visions of horror in my room? And he gets victory after victory? here. I've got to find another spot. Ah, this window opens onto the balcony. Okay, hmm, so that means the other room must be on my right. I understand your eagerness, but the pressure on my family complicates the task. Relax, my friend. Your relatives will soon be huh. safe. So what I saw in my vision really did happen. <sighs> well, I hope I haven't missed anything important. I thank you so much. Don't mention it. Now that's settled, let us speak about your support. Yes. You mentioned earlier some assistance from the Golden Order? Absolutely. I have concluded an agreement with their leader, Lady Sarah Faustine de Richet. Another case that Mother didn't tell me about. The funds from the Order will finance the building of a foundry in Tuscany. You will soon be able to count on a hundred or more cannons for your future campaigns. I... Uh, I was not expecting so much help from you. Uh, when can I meet this uh, de Richet? Well, unfortunately, something has cropped up. De Richet has disappeared. Disappeared? What? Here? Yes, but the staff are redoubling efforts to find her, I assure you. So the agreement, is it on or off? It is on. Her right-hand man has just arrived here to help us find her. And it is none other than her son, Louis Maurras de Richet. I wager he will ensure his mother's commitments are met. Louis, not an easy name to live with in these times. Uh, of course, but from now on you will deal with him. This man, it can only be Mortimer. Very well, I will seek him out. Ah! Ma'am. That's a close call. When you see Louis, speak to him about the amount of our agreement. And um, how much exactly are we talking about? 20,000 Louis d'or. A sum that will enable you to easily win your next conquests. 
My friend, an unparalleled destiny awaits you in France. That is very flattering. However, is 20,000 louis d'or enough to purchase so many cannons? In this case, yes. Madame de Richet and I have negotiated a very good price. Very well. You can count on me to talk with her son. Perfect. Remember that great things can be achieved with him on your side. Of course. Anything else? Not for now. Try to get some rest. The next few days are likely to be tiring. Then, sir, I bid you a good evening. Good evening, my friend. It's time to leave. Louis? Emily? I can explain. Perhaps, but remain still. But, but first, you could perhaps remove the blade from my throat? You have ten seconds to explain your presence here. I'm not here for you. What are you doing in my room? First of all, let's keep calm. My being here is just a coincidence. Anyway, I seriously doubt what I'm doing in your room is really the question that interests you. Now is it? Clever boy. So answer the question that does interest me. What were you really doing on the balcony? Seeing the window open, I feared someone had entered your room. With what I'd heard next door, I had every reason to believe that your life was in danger. I am a grown woman, but how kind of you to worry about me. Now that I'm safe and sound, tell me more. Has this anything to do with the Order? Oh yes, Washington informed me you were part of the Order. You too? You're part of this too? Yes. Now answer. Do these events concern me? Do they involve the Golden Order? I overheard a conversation between a French soldier and some other individual. And what were they talking about? It seems Mother is involved, something about a military campaign. Apparently my mother validated an order of cannons to help this man. Really? Since when does the order finance wars? As far as I know, since never. Did they give any details, a date, what they were for? Nothing at all. Did you know anything about this? No, but I won't forget. Thank you. All right, Louis, I might have overreacted a bit. Please do excuse me, but next time, please try knocking on my door. I'd be delighted to open it for you. Oh, well, I'll remember in that case. Good night, Emily. Good night, Louis. Napoleon Bonaparte. That's not the right way. Your Eminence, what are you doing here? I wanted to speak to you about something important. Do you still have my letter on you? The one I gave you in the hall? Why do you ask? I have a name to add to it. Here it is. Thank you, my son. Ah, I see that it's still sealed. I was right to put my trust in you, Louise. Now give me one second, please. 
I can't imagine what would have happened if I hadn't added this name to the list. Please, be sure to give this letter to Sarah the moment you see her. You can count on it. Have a good night. Exhausted. I better go to bed. I'll search my room tomorrow. If Mother stayed here right before me, you never know. And Mortimer had better show up. Alright, in my vision yesterday I saw that Mother had this room before me. I'd better search the room. Who knows? Maybe she left me something behind. Honey, the remedy of the gods. Writing material. Here is something will undermine my botanist appreciation for the local climate.
priest's robe, crosses. Must be Piaggi's room. Oh, this bookcase is well stocked. Oh, this book has been put back the wrong way round. A Voyage Around the World, the travel log of the explorer, Louis Antoine de Bougainville. One of mother's favorite books. What a coincidence. And I don't believe in coincidences. It's just too much. I don't know what's going on here, but if you felt threatened, I'll bet you'd leave a clue, wouldn't you, mother? Found it. A faint sign of the order, barely visible. Mother, you undoubtedly must have hidden a clue in this book. Let's see if I can find anything else in this room. Come on, Louis, think, think. Let's recap. My mother was in this room. I found a rare edition of her favorite book. She must have left something behind. She must have used the writing materials. What if she used lemon juice instead? An old trick used to hide messages. A message using invisible ink. I bet she used a lemon to leave a message. Now, how do I reveal the message? reveals the message. Let's see what my mother wrote. Where all eyes size you up, you must pass by the Gorgon. Gorgon was the name of Medusa in Greek mythology. On the other hand, where all eyes size you up, I don't get it. And judging by the number of paintings in the manor, could be anywhere. After that, she adds, beware hero. The beast always charges the best protected soldier. And that's its weakness. What is my mother trying to tell me? Since you've gone to so much trouble, you must not have only found something important, but you must have also felt like you were in great danger. Now I'd better hurry and find that damn Medusa. Sir, dinner is served in the Red Salon. Typical. I'm not hungry. Please give my apologies to all the guests. Uh, Sir Holm requests your presence, sir. Well. I guess I'm just gonna have to wait before going and looking for my Medusa. Tell him I'll be there in a minute. Hmm, nothing here. I wouldn't mind a nice, strong coffee, though. If I get a chance, I may have to take a little tour through the rooms of the other guests. Duke Manuel Godoy. Might be better to take a different stairway. That must be the door to the room of the soldier I saw in my vision.
Chinese coin, recognizable by the hole in the middle. If I remember rightly, that's called a cache. A fragment of amber. French actor Talma is Nero and Britannicus, the last emperor of the Caesar dynasty. It's a beautiful weapon, a Levy Damask blade. It's marked with the initials of the manufacturer in Versailles. A bicorn decorated with a cockade. It must belong to a French soldier. Sir Johann von Wulner. Greek drachma, one of the rare ancient coins to be mentioned both in the Bible and in the Quran. That's the door to Elizabeth's room. No one disturb me, I'm busy. Too bad, I'll see him later. For God's sakes, what happened in here? Dear Elizabeth. A novel of the initiation of a young woman, June 11th, August 24th. Third of November. Looks like I found a box containing some kind of white crystals. Devil's Thorn. with a half circle pattern. A 
An untutored hand copied these notes. Looks like a healing method. Well, that's a pity. The writing is barely legible. Feet and hands are bound. A piece of cloth in the mouth prevents the tongue from being sectioned. It looks like preparation for an exorcism. Is Elizabeth really possessed? Monsignor, His Eminence Cardinal Piaggi. Excuse me, Monsieur de Richet. I really need to talk to you. Hello. You're Elizabeth Adams, aren't you? Yes. I regret that we haven't been properly introduced. You had us all worried last night. How are you feeling today? Better. I was just a bit queasy. Don't worry about it. It happens all the time. Do you really want to know what made me ill? Last night, I found out that your mother was on the island. What are you doing here? My mother came here to do business with Lord Mortimer, but she seems to have gone missing. So I'm here to find her. I know your mother very well. Really? Yes, I have been in your mother's care ever since I was born. She nursed you? Oh, I wouldn't say nursed, no. I remember her stare. Cold as ice, her sadistic hands pressing over my mouth to silence me while I screamed in pain. I remember her knees, too. She held me down with them while she cut and burned scars into me. Hold on a minute. What do you mean? You can ask her when you see her. Huh. She's getting more and more agitated. And next you're going to tell me my mother's also responsible for that scar on your head? My heart stopped twice during the operation. I lost my memory for six months. You obviously have no idea of the abuse your mother inflicted on me. Wait. There must be some kind of mistake. My only mistake was ever meeting your mother. She's able to describe every detail without hesitation or getting flustered. It's becoming difficult not to believe the poor girl. Look, I've... I've got to go. Wait. I need to know more about you and my mother. Why did she put you through all of that? There must be some reason for what she did. What's the point of rubbing salt in the wounds? I want to find out what really happened. No, you really don't want to know what your mother did when I shed my first blood at puberty. On the contrary, you can tell me anything. Let me be my own judge. I know your little game. You're no different from the rest of them. You couldn't give a damn about me. 
The only thing you're interested in is finding out about your mother. Don't say that. Not, not everyone wants to use you. Some people care about you, don't they? Haven't you got a sister? Yes. I'm sure she loves you with all her heart. She's the only one who cares about me. I would have put an end to it all by now if it weren't for her. Since you insist, I'll tell you how I met your mother. Thanks for trusting me. You see, before I was born, my mother often suffered from hallucinations and fits of anger. Soon people could barely recognize her. She became a completely different person. So my father spent an enormous amount of money paying for the best doctors, but none of them were able to cure her. The last resort was to call a priest. So, is that what your father did? No. He went to an expert in the occult. Ah, my mother. Her reputation already extended beyond our borders. My mother's fits stopped at my birth, and Sarah de Richet concluded that the evil had passed into me. Not only did it encourage her to stay, but she took the opportunity to advise my father to separate me from the rest of my family. That's how I was declared stillborn. My fate was decided that very day. It would coincide with my mother's frequent trips to America. I had my first fit when I was three. That's when your mother began her experiments to rid me of the evil inside. I understand how you feel, but I know my mother. I'm sure she had her reasons, even if it seems difficult to believe. Everything she put me through was all for nothing. My whole life was ruined for nothing. So what brings you here then? My father used to know Sir Holm. He offered to introduce me to the world's leading authority in the occult. Lord Mortimer. He was my last hope. Until I found out he had also invited your mother. It's got to be a coincidence. I don't believe for a second she's come here for you. You can't change my mind about this, Louis. My days are numbered, and I know.